what's in my dance bag video. So if you want to see that, then stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is my dance bag. It just has, it's pink and like tie-dye and it has hearts on it and stuff. And it says dance and then it says feel the beat on it. And I got this from Justice like two years ago, maybe three. I don't know, but this has always been my dance bag, and I don't really shop at Justice anymore, but um, this has always been my dance bag, so I just keep using it. And plus, when I met the girls from Dance Moms, well, I only met three of them. I met Brooke, Paige, and Chloe, and them and their moms signed it. Sorry, you can't see it very well, but yeah, so that's another reason why I just keep this one. And then... For little decorations, I have a panda bear, like Beanie Baby, kind of thing on it. And then I have a jazz shoe, because jazz is my favorite style of dance. And I just got this jazz shoe from my local dance store. And I got the panda bear thing from Justice when I got this bag. So this is pretty old, and I think I got this last year. I'm not sure. So yeah, this one's like three years old, but I don't know. So now to what is inside my dance bag. The first thing in here is my tap shoes. And I just started taking taps, so that's really exciting. I'm doing like the tap restart at my studio for teens. So yeah, and these shoes I just got from my local dance store. And they are Capizio tap shoes. And they're really cute. They have like stars on the inside. Yeah, you can kind of see that. They have like stars in them, so that's awesome. And yeah. My I next like pair of shoes in my bag are my hip hop shoes. And these are just some navy blue vans. And I actually wear these to school. But I needed a clean pair of hip hop shoes for my hip hop class. And we just go with street shoes. So, well, my studio gets the, like, Chuck Taylor high tops with the stars on the side that you can get at, like, Target. And we wear those because they're not very expensive and everyone needs to match. So we just get a pair that's not very expensive. But I just started taking hip-hop again this summer. So I'm just using these for the meantime to find out if I like hip-hop or not. I have taken it before, but that was, like, my first year dance. So. The next pair of yeah. shoes that is in my dance wear are my toe underwear or bear paws, whatever you call them at your studio. I don't know what other people call them, but those are just the two terms that I've heard. And you like put your big toe in this hole, and then you put the rest of your toes in those. And these are usually used for like modern or contemporary or lyrical. And I used these at my old studio, not the one that I go to now, but I use these for modern at my old studio. But I don't take modern and they don't offer it at my new studio, so I don't really use these anymore. But they're nice for like around the house, so I can just dance and not ruin my other shoes. Okay, so my next pair of shoes in my bag are my jazz shoes. And I definitely use these a lot because jazz is one of the like bigger classes that I take. I take that a lot. I take competition jazz, so I'm on the competition team. And I take just regular jazz with these summer classes and whatnot. So I really like these shoes. They're nice. Oh, by the way, they are from, I don't know how to say this. It's like block or blotch, something like that. My next pair of shoes are my lyrical shoes. And these are from Capizio, yeah, Capizio, and these are kind of interesting, but we use these for lyrical at my studio, and they have, like, this netting in the bottom. They feel really weird when you get them, but I've been wearing these for now two years. Well, no, I've been wearing these, yeah, now this is my third year, actually, so yeah, two years on to my third year, and I'm comfortable in them now, but when I first got these, these were definitely really weird, but... Yeah, I use these. In my last pair of shoes in here are my ballet shoes. And these ones, these are so old that the name isn't even on here anymore. But I'd assume these are Capizio ballet shoes. I'm not positive though. And I just got these at my local dance store again. 
and yeah, I've been using these for a while. They look pretty bad. I think two years I've had these, but yeah. So Not the first cute. object I have in my dance bag is some deodorant because it is very hot in my studio this summer. Well, it is in every summer, but it's very, very hot, and we're all sweaty, and I take four classes in a row that are each an hour for two days in a row, so obviously I get really hot and sweaty. Honestly, I don't really keep this in my bag throughout the year, though, because it's not really hot in my studio, and I don't do that many classes in a row because, you know, I have homework in school during the school year, so yeah. I just have this in my bag. Another object I have in my bag is some Blizz Tech medicated lip balm. And that's just because my lips tend to get really chapped because it's really hot out. And then my lips get dry. So I definitely keep this in class because it's so irritating to me when my lips are really chapped and then I want to lick them and then it just makes them more chapped. So yeah, this is definitely a good thing for me to keep and in And the my last bag. thing and object that's in my bag is this shoe freshener. You can get these at like Dick's Sporting Goods and things like that, but it just has like a little scenty ball of like scentiness, I guess you could say, inside this ball right here. And you just, it's closed right now, and then you just open it, and then the scent comes out into your bag. It smells more masculine, but it works pretty well. I do have to clean up my bag a lot because my shoes tend to smell really bad because, well, first of all, my feet are sweating and I'm barefoot when I wear my shoes, most of them, because you don't really wear socks with lyrical shoes and whatever. Well, at least I don't and no one else in my studio does. So yeah, my shoes tend to be pretty stinky. I hope I'm not the only one who this happens to, but yeah, I put like shoe fresheners and things like that in my bag to make it stink less and I clean out my bag like shake it out and then air it out and stuff a lot because it just tends to smell hey pretty guys, bad. Hey guys, I really hope you liked this video. If you want to see more videos about dance, um, like I was thinking about doing a competition hair and makeup tutorial like how I do my hair for competition, maybe a what I bring to competition kind of thing. I'm not going to do a ton of dance videos because this is mostly you know like a makeup and beauty and things channel but I also am going to throw in some gymnastics tutorials and things like that so if you want to see that kind of stuff then definitely let me know in the comments below if I enable the comments for this video I'm not sure yet but you know just let me know somehow by liking this video I guess and subscribe to my channel I just wanna...